Bande becomes the second Nigerian and the 13th African to preside over the General Assembly and has placed the post-2015 developmental agenda at the center of his year-long presidency. I'm honored to address you today as president of the 74th session of the United Nations General Assembly. I'm grateful to all member states for the confidence reposed in me and assure you of my commitment to upholding the ethics of the office of the President of the General Assembly and the principles in the United Nations Charter. Bande indicated that he'd work for the promotion of peace and security, conflict prevention and ensuring greater collaboration between the organs of the UN, particularly with the Security Council and Secretariat. During the 74th session into next year, the UN will mark its 75th anniversary. Today's world is rapidly changing and our challenges are global and increasingly interlinked. As we enter a decade of action on the Sustainable Development Goals and as we ask for more urgency and ambition on climate change, with 2020 being a crucial year, we have to convince people that the United Nations is relevant to all and that multilateralism offers real solutions to global challenges. He warned that expectations of the organization were high. People's expectations on our organization, especially the General Assembly and the Security Council, are profound. One thing that particularly concerns me and was echoed by Professor Bande in June is the trust deficit between nations. Transparency, dialogue and greater understanding are essential to alleviating mistrust. And the General Assembly is a unique and indispensable forum where the world can come together to advance on sensitive and important issues. High Level Week begins on Monday with a Climate Action Summit ahead of the start of the general debate next Tuesday. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.